last few days perhaps bulls could see the dejection on the faces of retail ahead of the biggest festival in india diwali and three good days for retail in which the stocks owned by retail went up though the top 10 15 stocks in nifty they may not be doing that well for me personally a lot of my wealth is deployed in microfinance and that has been sulking most of these stocks are in red and for a relief just ahead of diwali many of them were up spandana 8.4% that is after it was down 17% yesterday fusion up 5% look at how far they are from their 52 week highs set in again 5% Now these could be one off rallies on tomorrow these could be down again just in case you are not aware of micro finance sector this sector predominantly finances working capital loans for women in village this is how a meeting is conducted women sit in a circle and money is lent to them collected every week now imagine government is blaming these ladies that they are not paying on time first there was election then there was a extreme heat wave then there were floods that not just ravaged their villages but the country and the globe and we blame them for not paying their loans on time and we are pulling up these companies which give them loan without a collateral and who is suffering people like me who give money to these companies both as bonds and as an investor and while there is no answer from government be it local state or center on what they will do to address the issues faced by these women now today's nugget section in some ways is also related to this theme the stocks which are decimated like these where eps turns very low or negative how do you decide to invest at what stage you will add money because it is in the end all about eps that's our topic for nugget today nifty 50 20 stocks were up 30 down infosys icici hdfc bank sbi hcl tech they corrected adani enterprises was up a lot after its results maruti was beaten down yesterday that was up reliance is finally looking good adani ports was up itc was up now if you recall i have talked about adani enterprises adani ports i talked about reliance being up today i talked about icici and sbi correcting a bit that was yesterday I also thought that Infosys will be up however Infosys was down and TCS was up which is just a balancing act between the two basically to me it means that FII's were missing today also from the market next 50 just like nifty 50 30 stocks down 20 up the railway twins IRFC and IRCTC they were up lot IRFC specifically 8.3% Dabur was down a lot yesterday that was up Godrej has been down in general that was up NHPC was up a bit what was down zomato rec torrent pharma icici mother sansumi this tower of banking was here yesterday and yesterday also it was the tallest tower today it is on the reverse side that is why if you see this graph is on the side of bears today software also was down so was the power pack and oil and gas four of the heavyweights with bears look at the contribution for last 15 days banking is at the top right now this is the weights changing on a daily basis there is a sector called healthcare providers which we never noticed that is at number 2 in terms of gains diversified industrial effectively is just adani enterprises no one talked about that stock for literally 3 4 months that is the third best coordinator suddenly look at the tail of sectors that have eroded your wealth in last two weeks worst is auto now banking was all good yesterday with an exception of indusind and bandhan bank today most of the large banks were down while nifty looked really bad at the end of the day it was not that bad whole day it was actually going up till this point which is approximately 1 o'clock that is where this sharp fall came then another sharp fall let me zoom a bit this was literally a 160 point rise and then we gave up all the gains hitting the bottom of the day and today was not nifty expiry this was bank nifty expiry bank nifty trading range was 1% it was also volatile but the peaks and troughs were not that big the injections were back today look at this injection at 1245 atl hul look at hdfc sbi synchronized fall on an expiry this is something that we see more often than not a very disciplined 1 to 2% cut in 
all bank nifty stocks irfc which has made most investors cry that is now up for three consecutive days nothing good for it only oracle was up a bit wipro and tcs just managed to close in the green auto primarily it was maruti which came back 2% up bajaj auto which was up a percent and hero motors which was up 3% the volumes in auto sector were good today which means at lower levels there is some buying interest coming from the retail sector of the day perhaps was defense today all stocks were strong specifically data patterns up 12% paras hit a upper circuit dcx hit a upper circuit cochin shipyard hit an upper circuit metal adani enterprises was up 4.2% hindustan zinc another good day 2% up volumes of both these stocks were good hindustan zinc has been up for 6 out of last 7 days and remember it spent so much time in the red zone nearly a month that is when no one wanted it oil and gas was not looking good at all today chennai petro down 5% hpcl 3% no interest from retail in general edible consumption was looking good only varun beverages had a minor cut however the volumes are ordinary radico khetan up 8% more and i have not sold it i am still holding the stock even the non edible consumption stocks were looking good today volumes were good best gains came from the bottom of the pack gillette was up 4% today also after the 11% gain yesterday this was gillette going normally and then it suddenly caught a rocket investing today was mixed bag mcx which has run up a lot that corrected the pe's are perhaps too high down 6.5% minor profit booking in motyal oswal also 2.5% but 361 cdsl both up 3.5% novama angel cams jm financials they were all up nippon was up bsc up another 1.3% seems like this sector still has some steam left this is a new dashboard which i created today this has most of the nbfcs microfinance companies these are the large consumer finance companies then is the microfinance pack all of them are in red then are the gold finance companies muthoot finance marnapuram iifl and then we have the b2b co-lending companies this sector is full of reds i have equity investments in mass financial certain credit fusions pandana and i have debt from several of these companies is that most of these companies are pretty old they have faced so many challenges over their life span companies like ifl for example they faced huge regulatory issues all of them have come back strongly eventually this sector was decimated in demon this was decimated when there was an adar fiasco this was decimated when there was a pandemic it always comes back so a lot of money can be made if someone is willing to take risks here by investing at these low levels fidi data just came out and di is also have scored a century today okay i just refresh the dashboards today nifty bank nifty nifty it they were a sea of red however from the 36 sectors i tracked 26 sectors were up so the problem was only in the top stocks dabbers profit have fallen 17% stock is already down a lot aditya birla's results were good i will probably add it to the dashboard gold is knocking at 80000 door silver slightly short of 98000 bitcoin nearly at 72000 rupee and brent are where we left them yesterday alphabet good gains early in the trade 7% up amazon up 2% both amazon and alphabet comfortably about 2 trillion some trades today i bought two units of tejas networks and i'll talk about tejas networks in the nugget section also this is an 11.5% coupon bond a part of my fixed income portfolio i moved a bit of the equity that i sold earlier to bonds here now i needed money for tejas networks so i sold a little certain credit it was up any case 5% i have no idea whether it will be up 5% tomorrow or down 10% so i thought let me at least sell 1000 of it i'll buy it back if it falls tomorrow so this was a loss today because certain's holding cost is high investment day as well now tomorrow i am celebrating diwali so tomorrow's coverage may come on saturday not tomorrow 
Today I have a very interesting topic because many times when a stock is beaten down a lot or there is a flash in pan kind of performance where a very good EPS is there, we are all confused whether to buy, sell, at what levels, when will the stock price rise because of the good or bad EPS. I'll take some examples for this exercise to illustrate the concept. I'll start with Tejas Networks which I bought today and I'll tell you why I bought it. First, the sales numbers nearly double June to September. This could be a flash in the pan, I don't know. I don't study this company a lot, but it has doubled many, many times. It has grown rapidly. That is the risk I am taking. Look at the EPS trend, 0.3, minus 2, minus 4, minus 0.4, minus, 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 minus. Suddenly it turned green, 8.6, then 4.5, and then 16. So this trend is looking good. Now if you look at just these four quarters, about 26, 27. That's the EPS right now for these four quarters. Now let's extrapolate for the next quarter. Let's say it will be better than this. That's case 1, 20. Something like this, which is 15. And lower than this, let's say 10. So this minus will go off and these will be added. If this is the case, then this EPS becomes 50. If this is the case, the EPS becomes 45. In this case, 40. What is the EPS right now? 27. It can go up between 50 to 100 percent annualized in the next quarter. That is the risk I am taking. Now, of course, the EPS next quarter could be negative also. I can't predict that. So it's a trade for next quarter for the results primarily. Now, let me also give you the graph of the stock price. While the EPS was like this, the stock price was not doing much actually here. As soon as we reached 8.6, this number was looking fine, started going up. As soon as another positive came, the negatives went away. This was looking better, so it went up further. Then came 16. Now a lot of people know that good results are coming up, so it went up earlier. And it is right now here because markets in general are correcting. So the stock price moves in line with growing EPS for sure. Now previous example was a little difficult to read, money control gives very good bar charts but the number of quarters they cover in one chart is just five that is why i tend to use both this is nuvama wealth the eps 41 50 51 62 72 graph is going like this i like this graph and i like this stock that is why i invest in it if you extrapolate it next time it should be somewhere around 80 at least what will go out this 50 so we'll reduce 50 add 80 the eps will go up by 30 so 80, 70 to 150, 210 and 50, 260. That is up from 210. Nearly a 25% jump. Now let's look at Motia Loswal. This seems like a problem. It is not a problem. There was a bonus here. 1 is to 3. You multiply this number by 4. So this is 60. Multiply this by 4. This is around 74. 35, 44, 48, 60, 74. Going up. A lot of people don't account for bonuses, splits and so on, the corporate actions. Ideally, the chart should be adjusted, but does not happen for all the stocks. So we have to apply a little bit of knowledge here. Spandana Spurti. It was down 17% yesterday. It was up 8% today. The revenue looks okay. -ish. Yes, they have reduced the revenue here because they are not giving loans in certain pockets. Most microfinance are not giving loans in the pocket which are troublesome. The problem is EPS and there is no bonus here. In June, this became 8 from 18. This quarter, it became minus 30. That is because of provisioning, financial impairment. That's a technical term. Now, these people who have not paid for which this financial impairment has happened, they will not get any further loans from any microfinance company in the country or any other kind of loan, vehicle, whatever. If they need loan, they will have to repay the money. Ultimately, in next three to six months, all of them will go to the company, give them the money and say, please clear our NPA record. That will take month, two months to happen. Eventually, this money will be recovered. This will happen to all small finance companies. That is why you will see several banks which have small finance arms, microfinance arms, unsecured loans. They are all suffering right now. And all these provisions will be reversed in some quarter that will be the bumper quarter let's check rbl bank another example sales are fine four became six 
six came down a bit suddenly four now next quarter this looks like another four or three no major change will happen for rbl next quarter but if this becomes negative then it will be a problem take it with a pinch of salt we are extrapolating or expecting the next quarter eps here best case worst case average case you need to understand the stock and also the sector now the stocks which grow up faster than their peers in that sector they may not be the biggest stocks but they enjoy a higher pe for the reason i explained in this video hope this information was useful and it will help you make some money in future thanks for watching happy diwali to all of you and your family